Hello everyone, my name is Rudy, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cloak Field. The Cloak Field is a piece of equipment usable by any suit with an equipment slot and available resources. While usable by any class, the Scout Suit is the only suit that's able to really use the Cloak to its fullest potential. In this review, I'll be going over the stats, how the Cloak works, how to use it, how to fight against it, all that good stuff. The Cloak Field is located under the Drop Suit Upgrades portion of your skill tree. It is a 3x skill, so it's the same as Nano Circuitry, Rep Tools, Scanners, all that fun stuff. Here's a list of the SP needed per level. To unlock the Cloak Field, uh, 1, 3, and 5 are the only ones that actually unlock anything. 2 and 4 don't do anything besides advancing you, so it'll cost you just shy of a million SP to max out your Cloak. As you go up in tiers, the recharge rate and the duration for the cloak field changes. Also, on every tier, the cloak, while active, provides you with a 25% reduction to your profile. This equates to one complex dampener. Cloaks have pretty insane fitting costs, as you can see here. Uh, so you can't really fit them on just any suit, as you really do sacrifice a lot to put one on. Uh, the only suits that have a bonus to fitting cost for cloaks are scouts. Currently, lodgies are bugged and they get an equipment reduction to cloaks, but I imagine that'll be fixed at some point. Now that all the numbers and stuff are out of the way, let's talk about how this thing works. Now, when you are cloaked, you are not completely invisible, as you can see here. When you are moving, you shimmer quite a bit. It's pretty noticeable, some people don't think so. Also, as soon as you decloak, if you're in line of sight, your chevron will appear, as you can see here. However, as long as you maintain your cloak, your chevron will not appear. When using your cloak, if you're being actively scanned, and you get scanned while you are not cloaked when you activate it, your chevron will still persist. However, on passive scans, when you activate your cloak, the chevron disappears, just like the opposite of what happened in the previous example. Here's a nice little slowdown so you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, here, I'll make an extra little commentary. Uh, one thing that does make the cloak hard to hit after you cloak up is the fact that uh, a lot of guns have this kind of insane muzzle flash, so it's really distracting and you lose the cloak within it, but as you can see, as this guy starts moving more, he becomes much, much more noticeable to where when he was still, I could barely see him. While the cloak can be used for running and gunning, it really does reward patient play styles for the most. Infiltrating deep into enemy front lines, and attacking them from the rear or from where they least expect it is the most useful feature of the cloak. Your main goal in using a cloak offensively is to make sure that you put the enemy in a position that they have no chance of winning. Fair fights are for suckers. When your cloak is equipped, as you can see right next to your health bar, there is a cloak sort of stamina bar. As you run your cloak, it slowly drains. You need a 50% charge to refire your cloak. When you switch weapons from the cloak, there is a minor delay between the animation and when you actually become visibly decloaked. So you have a little bit of time to sort of sight in on some weapons. This is where patience really does come into play. Being able to take your time and line up a shot is a lot more rewarding than just randomly spamming rounds downrange. With patience and greater accuracy, you can maintain your position for much longer. 
By putting less rounds down range, you draw less attention to yourself, thus allowing you to be more stealthy. While both powerful and versatile, the cloak does have its counters. Keldari Scouts and, for example, Galente Lodges have the ability to stack precision mods to make them useful in detecting cloaked enemies. While the cloak does provide a profile reduction of 25% if you stack precision mods, so your precision is equal to or less than your cloaked assailant, then you will detect them through their cloak. They'll still be invisible, but you will see their chevron above their head. Since the nerf of scanners, E-War mods have become a whole lot more useful. Now it's highly encouraged to have somebody in your squad tanking E-War. This squad member is your eyes and ears of the battlefield. Cloaked assailants will always prey on those that are unaware, much like those scouts in previous iterations. So for those of you who are having trouble with cloaked scouts, stick with your squad. The cloak is sort of a one-trick pony, I'll be completely honest. When used properly, it can put you in good position, however, reliance on the cloak will cause you some deaths. Intelligent flanking maneuvers and knowing the limits of your suit will yield you the best results. While some people feel the cloak is a little overpowered, I highly disagree. It's merely a tool that takes advantage of those who are unaware and completely oblivious. Though I will admit that the shotgun cloak combo is a little cheap. The cloak does need a few tweaks here and there, but overall CCP did an amazing job at balancing this thing. If you have any awesome cloaky stories, feel free to post in the comments below. If this review has helped you, like, subscribe, tell a friend, all that jazz. But until next time, happy hunting guys.